Sometimes there's just no words to express the majestic view of the snow settling on the pine needles. This is where I walk each campground after each camper has left. Our duties are not only to pick up the campground, but also if they need any help setting up their tent, they may not know how. You would be surprised how many people don't know how to set up camp. And this is the valley behind our camp. If you look way back there in the back, barely see, but in them trees, there is an old horse corral when this used to be a horse camp way back in the day. And I also have to clean out the bear boxes. Sometimes people think those are trash cans. We have 11 sites here in our dispersed campsite. I knew the snow was coming, so I prepared for a fire. There's just something about building a fire while you're out camping. It's something that's down inside your soul that brings out the joy inside of a human. Carol and I, with the Overlanding Adventures of America, would like to thank y'all for climbing inside and taking this ride with us. And we would also greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, and there's a little bell icon right next to it that lets you know when we put out a video. And please be sure and leave a comment. And as we ran into town to get some diesel and gas and a few supplies, it seems like it hadn't stopped snowing since we got here. And here we are making our way back through downtown Jackson. Each corner of the square in Jackson is covered with elk antlers. I 
As we turn left and make our way into the Elk National Refuge, it's coming down even harder. The refuge is 44.3 miles of a perimeter. And it's 24,560 acres. In 1912, the U.S. Senate created the Elk National Refuge as a haven for the elk. About 7,500 a year migrate to this location so they can survive the winters. Bighorn sheep are going up the side of the mountain. They're way up there on the side. All of them up there on the side of them rocks. Look at that big horned sheep up there. He's a big boy. Man, look at him climb down there. See him head butting each other? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they're getting Ooh, a good fight. That was a good one. Big boy is showing off. It's amazing how they can stand on the side of them rocks like that. And as we climbed the extra 1,200 foot elevation, this is what we came to. Everything was covered in snow as far as you could see, and it wasn't lighting up not one bit. We ended up getting about five inches total. The road's still closed up top. Lots of snow up there still blocking the road. All the sage getting covered up in the big tall pines. Our campground getting more snow pretty 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 while y'all are enjoying that hot weather down in Texas a winter wonderland Here at camp, went into town and this is what it looked like when we came back. And there's nothing like a good breakfast, breakfast burritos in the morning. After hunkering down in the weather for the last few days, we decided we'd go out and do some exploring. As soon as that sun came out, melted it all away, thank goodness. I can never get enough of staring at them Tetons. 
Them things are gorgeous, sitting at 13,775 foot up there. They are a sight to behold. It makes you understand why they call them the Grand Tetons. With the little bit of sun we've been getting was enough just to clear off the sides of the mountains down low. There are currently about a hundred head of elk still here in the refuge. But as the temperatures rise, they'll make their way to higher ground. When these large animals are looking at you, makes you wonder what they're thinking. This old movie house opened May 24th, 1942, was a single screen production, and it was named after the county, Teton Theater. This old movie theater closed after 73 years of operation to a pizzeria in 2015 and the wood fried ovens which makes these beautiful pizzas you're looking at. And what you are looking at here are two happy faces after putting away all that good pizza. Pictures and videos sometimes just doesn't do justice to the beauty that God made that you were looking at. And the crisp mountain air mixed with the sage and the big tall pines just some things you can't put a price on and the views are breathtaking. We thank y'all for riding along on our journey with us through our lens. And y'all be safe, and we'll see y'all down the trail. <laughs>